What's up everybody? Welcome back to day number two of this demo project. I'm getting the yan mower warmed up. We have got a whole lot of wood. We got one pile here, one pile over there, and we have a shed over there that was still yet to demolish. We're at the bottom of a mountainside here. Over that way, nothing but open soybean fields. These leaves are not crunching. There's a lot of water in them. Feel really good about burning. But yeah, you see the tops of those trees swaying. The wind is pretty stout up there. That's gonna determine just how big of a fire I get started. That's a pretty deep burn pit. You guys probably can't tell on camera, but it is. It's about 10, 15 feet deep. The only way it'd be better is if it were raining. What I'd like to do is at least go on over, knock that shed down, separate the metal off. That way I can start my fire and I'll be shuttling material back and forth and I can keep a close eye, make sure this thing doesn't get out of hand. a fire cocktail. Since my hole is so deep, I really don't want to lug this stuff up and down through there. Some used motor oil really does good. Soak this bell right in the heart of it. I like motor oil, it burns pretty slow, but it doesn't ignite as easy, so I'll give it a dose of some of the pink lemonade too. And what I do is I go around the edges here, that way they light a little easier. You talk about a candle, this'll do it. Safety first. As the old folks would say, and now for a really, really big show. That oil's a nice slow burn. Windshield. That little blue dot is us. We're about to have some heavy rain, which means this fire is about to get big. The heaviest of the rain is, man, it's really getting ready to come down. I'm going to hustle and move the rest of the wood from this uh, old carport over there, and then we're just going to pile everything on at one time. It's going to be great. There's a little bit of metal in here and other stuff, but I can pick it out once I get it over there. I think I actually did pretty good picking the garbage out of all this stuff. That'd be some stray pieces of garbage and metal. The vast majority I got picked out. Check it out, folks. All the wood, for the most part, is gone. It's also rained a lot, though, and I mean, it is a muddy mess up here now. We've still got small scraps of the trash scattered around, but we're going to do a final cleanup today. I just wanted to show you guys this is what all the wood has burned down to. 
really happy with that. There'll be plenty of dirt cover to cover that fire pit up. But while that's finishing up burning, got the skid steer warming up. Just got through using the excavator to dig a really big hole. That's a fair sized pile of dirt right there. What I like to do is dig a hole that's either about anywhere from 25 to 50% bigger than the accumulated piles of debris that I've got laying around. Little piles like this, that pile there, that pile there. We'll put the drone up in the air and you guys can watch me work just a little bit, enjoy some good music. At the end of the day, we'll check back in and show you what we've accomplished. It's a new day full of new opportunity, my friends. Today, we are headed with the Mac back down to the demolition job. I'm gonna try to haul out the old tires and at least some of the metal. And then it'll probably be about one more day of getting the rest of the metal hauled out and then backfilling all the, the burn pit and just that trash hole that we built. Let's get down there and get to work. I have to say this place is shaped up really nicely. Got all of the double wide cleaned up. We've just got that little pile of tires there. Good bit of steel and a little bit of metal roofing over there. I'm gonna get these machines started up and we'll start loading out of here.
Yes, sir. I think I've done a pretty good job on this one. With the exception of the concrete pad, I believe I've almost transformed this property back to its original state before people ever even existed. Try to get me eaten. <laughs> You're going down with me. <laughs> ah!